What are you doing? Is the water? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever just want to, you know, get out there and rip it? But then maybe because of your own, I guess, lackadaisical ways of doing things that you then kind of, I guess, become your own preventative. Like in a, in a bad way. Yeah, well that's me. So this is RC Guy Garage. Uh, the intent was, amazingly, I have no idea why, but the sun is here. And now that the sun is here, things have begun to dry. And yeah, it's time to, I guess, maneuver kind of stuff. So I take the wife's car, put it over there, take the Jaguar, put the Jaguar next to, you know, and make sure there's actually enough room. And then we're gonna take Big Black along with its plow, which yes, there's a mess there too. We're gonna take Big Black with its plow. Bam, that truck right there, because that thing is a thing of beauty. I'll tell you right now, man, I definitely made an awesome decision when I bought this truck. This thing has taken so much of just not only my abuse, but the abuse of point blank New England. And it has literally spit back in the face of Mother Nature. I can't tell you how many times. Mother Nature still is having her way with Big Black, but that's also facilitated because, well, we are Salt Nation. So we're gonna take Big Black and Big Black's plow we're gonna bring it out to the back. We're gonna pull that stump out of there. Maybe move around a couple of things here and there. And that's it. So if you're interested in watching this episode of I Don't Know What This Is from RC Guy Garage, you already know what to do. So let's just get into it. And yeah, don't be this guy right here, which I'm gonna show you. Oh, it's hot in here. It actually isn't gonna be as hot as it's gonna be in that thing right there. Look at all the dogs. They're like, hey, what are you doing? So watch this. Brake on. Now this is something that I've definitely got to square away <laughs> before my wife comes back. You see that right there? What does that say? Keyless, battery, whatever, remote, battery low. It's been like that for, I don't know, like a year. So anyways, uh, let's move the CRV. Make sure there's no puppies around. Don't want them getting ran over. See, got a couple puppies there. And you got the dumb one. Dumb one's around here somewhere. The dumb one, oh, there she is. She's right in the front. But we got the reverse camera anyway. Be able to see if there are any issues. But I am going to be pulling forward, so hopefully these little maggots aren't going to get in the way. I'm just going to try to do this carefully. I don't know where the little one is. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. He's a goon. Oh, see, I can't put the car. Uh, so I can't put the car here because I need to hook up the plow. All right. All right. I love that. All right, we'll put this thing in the shade. For some reason, I think trash has been picked up, but not recycled. Oh, it's hot in here. I'm just gonna crack some windows here. Why do they always do that? They always go down all the way. Stop. There we go. So you see recycle is still here. Trash. What is that? Are you serious? That didn't pop out? That's garbage. All right, well, I'm gonna put that in here. There we go. Sweet. Hey, look at that. Bunch of maggots in there. Like, literally, maggots. Oh. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go over to the Jaguar, which still has like a wire connected to it. Well, because, yeah, battery issues. Well, whatever. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it should start right up. I do have the key in my pocket here. Be interesting, this thing should be burning hot in here. It's gonna be hot. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, it's actually not that bad. Oh, 
it smells like leather in here. This thing actually smells pretty good. Hey, look at that. It lives. The Jaguar is alive. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, this thing's actually gonna be a pretty cool ride. You can see puppies are all hot right now. Keep forgetting that one window behind me does not open. So, Jaguar, Jaguar does move. Emergency brake off, track not available, yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw in reverse, look at that. Doors automatically lock. I am not used to this kind of luxury. So I'm gonna just park Jaguar next to the Butte, which, trash bucket, get out of here. All right, Jaguar. Nice. <laughs> and the seat goes back, it's messed up. See, I'm not used to this stuff. So you take the key out, the back seat like moves back and the steering wheel like moves up. I'm just not used to this kind of luxury here. Now, I don't know if I should plug in that wire. Maybe I should, just to keep things nice. <laughs> plug that in. Just leave that like that, that's fine. What are you doing, Healy? So those are the uh, BMW wheels. This was actually one of the wheels that I thought that I might throw on it. it. Definitely is, it's a different bolt pattern, but the tires are actually brand new. Like literally, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred miles on it. And they are a Cooper uh, Xeon RS3 G1. So you can see right there, 245-45 R19 mud and snow i think that's what that's called does that literally mean mud and snow oh my god but i don't know i was thinking maybe it would be good for the uh for the jaguar so now well actually no now we gotta move the damn tractor as well hey what you doing what you doing yeah yeah that's another one of my projects they say when you you know you're a redneck when you mow your lawn and you find a car it's getting pretty close to that trail is looking that way too but we're gonna come in right through this way ah seats all wet that's garbage ah, I want to have a wet butt well it's what it is right now this thing should fire up right away this is my cubby oh oh come on Okay, I guess not. <laughs> it actually did start. Uh, story of my life. Uh, I guess the intent of what I want to do back here, which you all know Big Black took out, you know, this stump, this little itty bitty stump, left a gaping hole. And I figured I can take the plow and I don't know, maybe I can take the plow, butt it up against this stump and maybe kind of push it around. I think I want to push it maybe over there. Then I want to maybe see what I can do over here. See if there's stuff that I, what is that? Is that a weed? It's got flowers on it. Yeah, I don't know. Probably some kind of poison or something. Who knows? Um, but we got like a stump here that may be rotted enough to where if I knock it a couple of times with the V-blade, I'll be able to break it free. 
but I want to be able to push a lot of this just junk and material and just garbage out of here. Um, I want to be able to take the plow, V it, and kind of push, you know, push all this stuff like into there. I might take the V portion of the blade and see if I can give this a couple of knocks. That thing actually feels too solid, so I guess that won't be going anywhere, but I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a couple of taps anyway. But what the heck is that? What the heck? Oh, oh, pot. So here's our garden. Here's Haley. Here's Colby. Here's Daisy. And uh, yeah, here's me. RC Guy Garage. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just uh, grab Big Black and see if Big Black can do work. So yeah, hey, you know, it is what it is. It's called content. going to give it a couple of knocks on the pavement just to break freeze just some of the garbage that was on it from before and we'll just make our way out back we'll down some windows here so I'm not dying we'll go right to the end here give it a smack down So, what I think I want to try to do, I think I want to try to maneuver over there first. Let's see what happens.
That actually worked well, way better than I thought it was. I actually didn't think that that stump was going to move at all. But Big Black had no issue with that thing. That thing is out of here. Now, this one obviously is definitely an issue. Um, but look at what we got, got cleared out. So, this one's solid. So, that one's literally not going to go anywhere. But, um, yeah, that's how Big Black does it. Nice and easy. We're not talking about, you know, utter destruction. But um, we are talking about, you know, moving stuff. And, yeah. So, now what I think I want to do, I want to come in this way. Like, I want to come in here. And obviously, reconfigure Big Black around this corner here. Come in this way. See if I can hook the edge of the plow maybe onto that section of the stump. Because I don't think that I can... I don't think I can push it that way because Big Black might fall into the hole. And granted, I could probably get out of that hole no problem, but I don't really want to chance it because, you know, high center, soft dirt. I have no idea how soft it is down there. So I think I'd like to come in from this direction, see if I can grab a hold of that stump, you know, by the wing and just kind of, you know, maybe maneuver it somehow. And then somehow I want to back up. And then I want to kind of push, you know, this garbage kind of out of here. And then uh, maybe a, a swing over there. Give all that a push. Um, yeah, that's just what Big Black does. Like I said, Big Black. Big Black does work. If anything, Big Black works way harder than I ever do. Like I said, Big Black works way harder than I do. Here's the proof. I guess that's the way you clear out trees with uh, Big Black and the uh, Fisher XV2 96 stainless. So, got those trees, those are pretty much uprooted. Um, obviously, I will have to do something about that tree right there because it's kind of like standing up ready to kind of fall this way. I'll give it a, uh, I'll give it like a tug that way. Moved all that dirt, everything's perfect. Kind of got this out of the way. That way we can come around this berm a little bit nicer. Uh, that tree right there, I should probably knock that tree too, but I think for now I'll just leave it as that. Uh, plow obviously is exactly how it should look. Um, yeah, so who says you can't push dirt around with a um, Fisher XV2? You most definitely can. Big Black always proves it. The only one issue that I did come across was, well, I kind of knew it was going to happen, so the stump fell back into the hole. So realistically, the only way to really attack this is I'm going to have to obviously tow this thing out of here. Uh, probably what I'll do is I'll just like attach chains to it or something. 
and I'll just push it off into the uh, woods right there and then maybe give like another push over there and then the RC track area is cleaned up so anyways this was uh, I don't know I guess I could call this track prep right track pet prep with big black you know super duty f-350 lariat I mean this thing is awesome I do things with this truck that maybe the conventional person might not like want to do I guess I don't know so anyways hopefully you enjoyed this episode from RC guy garage we're obviously just working on the backyard track trying to get it open because uh, yeah we got a little uh, we got some driving we got to do we're gonna uh, turn this into a, a testing pit for the uh, mad van then we're gonna see what's in the box so and yeah you know it's not gonna stay it's not gonna stay that way forever but uh yeah just want to share and uh that's it just get out there and point blank rip it what am i what am i gonna do am i literally going to wash off the plow like am i gonna grab this spigot right here am i gonna turn it on and wash off the plow yeah why not it deserves it it did good work you know get all that garbage out of there <laughs> why not good for the grass get all that garbage out of there get all that out of there look at that huh thing is becoming brand new just about get all that junk out of there Obviously, you can see we tripped the edge, so I'll have to do something about that as well. No big deal. Make sure you wash up your stuff after you're done abusing it. Fisher XB, man. I'm telling you. Good stuff. Looks like it's the roots that kind of have the uh, trip edge, trip edge. So we'll just clean as much out of there as we can for now. And we'll take care of it later. I don't always abuse all my stuff. I, I do, I do kind of take care of things sometimes a little bit. You know, it's not all about abuse and destruction and using things the way they're not designed. Although it is. Get right in that channel right there. Flush that out nice. Get in the back side here. Get all this garbage out of here. Clean up the frame a little bit. Get all that nice in in there. Get all that junk in there. Gotta get all this out of here. Do I have to grease that center pin though? I see light. We're getting there. Get all that junk out of there. We'll clean it up better later. I just wanted to get the majority of it out of here. Hey, we got some bark. Get the springs, get all that junk out of there. So that's nice and clean. Clean all that. Nothing but the best, baby. <laughs> Just love that sound. Oh, I do. <laughs> what you got going, huh? What you got going? I think you're thirsty, huh? Ha, 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 ha.
She, uh, you should see her when she goes after the uh, spigots. When she goes after the irrigation. Funny little. All right, so I think we're good enough. Anyways, like I always say, thanks for watching this episode from RC Guy Garage. We're gonna have more on RC type stuff because, well, we just kind of uh, semi manicured the um, the backyard track with the help of Big Black in the XV2. Thank you, Fisher. Thank you, Big Black. Thank you, Ford. You know it, baby. Right there. Eat it.